Don't be arrogant, man. Don't be arrogant. Why? Who gave Nigerians the right to say, oh, we're going to win 3-1 and 4-1? It is that poisonous arrogance that I've always had issues with with us. Why? So you, can, so you should only be arrogant when you're fully confident in what you are. Who cares if you play for Napoli? Who cares if you play for Villarreal? Rangers? Who the... Who cares if you play for less? It doesn't matter. All that matters is what you do on that pitch. Congratulations to Ghana. Because this is a win about no hype. No hype. Who do Ghana have? Who do they have? They, they, were, literally, they were playing with 10 men for most of these two legs in a stadium called Jordan Ayu. But what do they have? Dedication, focus, and belief. They always believed. The quality ain't there. Now, the, the, bro, there's some good quality because the Fenijian is good. Patty did his thing. There's some quality there. But overall, it's not what they used to be. But congratulations because Otto Ado, perfection. Because you saw even in this segment, Otto Ado was like, get in there, go in there hard. We're going to be, be, be strong. And let's be real. I wouldn't give that as a penalty. Let's be real. I wouldn't give that as a penalty. And don't put this on Ozoho. Nigeria couldn't score a goal from open play in 180 minutes. Think, think, think about that. In 180 minutes, Nigeria could not score a goal from open play. And, and this is just why this, these guys are used. This is why I quit. This is why I quit in 1998. In 19, this is why I said, no, no, no. You don't deserve my emotion. You don't deserve my support. You don't. Because for Ghana, they will not be as talented as you. These guys, they will give an effort. They will give an effort, 100%. They will, everything will die for that shit. They will die for that shit. 70 minutes of this, because they gave up. 70 minutes of this, these guys gave up. At a point, these guys were like sleeping. And they were giving the ball away. They gave up. Because I always knew that in front of their home fans in Nigeria, these guys are going to fold. Because once the game is not going their way, Nigerians are not going to give you, they're not going to support you. <laughs> you know, because Nigerians are just harsh. Like, no, it's almost like how guys are like in, in Italy. Or in, or in France, where, bro, nah, my way and all that shit and stuff, man. It's sad. Because it's always nice to see your country at the World Cup. And it's a cool thing to say, oh, it's what your country does. It's, it's, it's sad. It's because it's, you want to be part of the... The World Cup is a part you want to be part of. So, I have mixed emotions. One part of my emotion is sadness of, wow. It's going to be like 2006 of Nigeria not being at a World Cup. <laughs> so there's sadness. But I'm older. But within there, there's some wisdom. And I've got a quote in the RDS. Red Devil Studio said this down. Do you really want these guys at a World Cup? If these clowns made it to the World Cup, you're not thinking to embarrass the country. These guys would... If these clowns were in the wrong group, you know they're going to lose all their games. So I would rather you just actually qualify for the World Cup if you go there and you just go to embarrass them. These clowns could do, just go and, and freaking embarrass themselves. This is Ghana's win. Ghana fleet is of any, any Nigerian who opens their filthy stinking mouth and says that, oh, Ghana doesn't deserve to defend you, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a flipping moron. If, if you have any sense, you will congratulate Ghana. Well done. Because Ghana were like, no, 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 we believe, we believe, we believe. Because Na Nigeria, with you, you were the arrogant idiots. You were the arrogant fools. Oh, look, what can Ghana do? And Ghana won congratulations because the David Slade Goliath. Now, not saying that, but in terms of what people believed, what the notion was. Even Ghanaians were like, bro, but there were some Ghanaians that believed. But this is. And amazing, and Ghana, you deserve all the bragging rights. Social media, you deserve all the bragging rights. Because this was deserved. Because this was about, we have a strategy, we have a tactic, and this is our strategy. So for Otto Ado played to perfection. Otto Ado is the MVP. Otto Ado is a that dude. Conrad, Conrad Otto Ado is that dude. And I pray, don't don't put Chris Hutton. Otto Ado must lead these guys at the World Cup. He deserves that. He must lead these guys to the World Cup. Just make sure you don't have Jordan Ayu there. He must lead these guys to the World Cup because he, does, he, he did that. 
So congratulations to to Ghana. So Nigeria and Niger. My you know because like before I go, my message to Nigerians is this is that <laughs> someone said something interesting. Tam Abraham, Tamori, Saka, Alaba. Nigeria could actually have an amazing team. They could have an amazing team, but see, guys, this goes far deeper. It goes to a sense of because because for Aguavo, okay, sacked, boom, you messed up. Bad substitutions, bad see, why was he playing bad substitutions? And you should be able to develop a better tactic to say what's up. So for Aguavo, he's out and you failed. Aguavo, you failed. Should be sacked. Twenty percent, you should be sacked. Twenty percent. I'm sorry. How could how 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 good are these guys? Is Osimo really that good? Is Dennis really that that's good? Most of these guys they play for Rangers, they play for Villarreal, Napoli. Are they really as good as you make them out to be? That midfield is trash. That midfield is trash. It's crap. Because remember when this freaking dude used to play? Where was this guy's name? Remember when this dude used to play? This dude. Team is crap. Whatever. Well,